Working at one of Maryland's largest nurseries requires a steady hand, a bit of determination, and a lot of patience. Our crop cycle here averages seven to eight years. So we are guessing that far down the road, what should we be planting this year that's going to be in demand eight years from now? As Bernie Cole inspects his young trees, Angelica Nurseries in the Kent County town of Kennedyville is brimming with life. My favorite part of the growing season is about this time, late spring, when everything has just come out, the flowers are all out, new growth is out, everything's green. And with over 1,500 acres of plants, shrubs, and trees, there's a lot of life to go around. The nursery business is Maryland's second largest agricultural industry, generating nearly $800 million per year. Trees make up almost half of those sales. And that tree, if you put it at, right, at the right place, will provide benefit to you at your home, whether it's cooling the house or whether it's protecting the house from winter winds so that your heating bill is lower. In 2006, communities across Maryland lost that protection. An invasive beetle known as the emerald ash borer infested thousands of trees. The beetle lays its eggs exclusively on the bark of ash trees. When the eggs hatch, the larvae bores into the tree and feeds off of the tree's nutrients. Agricultural inspector Steve Bell has been studying the ash right borer here, since 2009. This, this larvae, you see it's going back and forth in the cambium layer. And it's just cutting off any ability for the tree to send water, nutrients up to the top. That spelled disaster for the infected ash trees, which had to be removed for safety and to control the ash borer population. Because the ash tree was one of the most popular trees used in landscaping, the tree removals left a lot of empty space. Maryland Department of Agriculture Plant Protection Manager Dick Bean says when the call went out for help, Angelica was the first to answer, donating about 1,200 cherry and oak trees. It was a goodwill effort, and it actually uh, helped our quest to remove all the host trees to eliminate the emerald ash borer in our eradication efforts. We felt that it was a way that we could give back to the Department of Ag. They were in a bad position in having to remove so many plants Working together, scientists like Dick study the beetle, and farmers like Bernie continue to provide trees, both trying to get a hold on a problem that continues to plague Maryland's ash tree population. Ash makes up all of the waterside trees for miles uh, along the Patuxent. And the idea that we're going to lose tens or maybe hundreds of thousands of these waterside trees, obviously it's going to lead to erosion issues. It just will compound these environmental issues that have to do with runoff and water quality. We need to get a handle on what's going on with emerald ash borer, uh, get it to a point where we can plant ash trees back. Until then, they all agree that planting other healthy trees and bushes are the best way to maintain a thriving community. When you walk into a beautiful park, you feel different than when you're standing on a city street that's nothing but concrete buildings. That's the effect that we're looking for. But in order to get those plants and trees out to the public, Angelica Nurseries has to rely on some serious ingenuity. That's because specialized equipment like this digger is hard to come by. And as I found out, operating it isn't easy. We've actually built a digging machine from the ground up because that was the only way that we could accomplish what we needed to. And, you know, as most farmers go, I mean, they're per, we're, we're pretty ingenious about figuring those kinds of things out and, and making it happen. It turns out digging holes isn't all that easy, especially when you need to dig hundreds of them each day. At the peak of the season, Angelica has nearly 180 workers planting and harvesting trees, plants, and shrubs. They ship over 40 trailer loads each week. Most people that work in the nursery industry uh, really enjoy beautifying the environment and the purpose that trees fill in that environment. Even in the face of hungry beetles, scientists and farmers forge ahead to provide future generations with neighborhoods thriving with trees and plants. <laughs>